Kunnen we beginnen? Ja? Oké. Okay. <laughs> Onder de praatjes zo. <laughs> is de audio aan? Audio is on. So we'll do it in English if that's okay? Yeah, fine. Please introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Len. I'm Lendude on Drupal.org. I'm one of the views maintainers for Drupal Core. Uh, and I'm one of the, the senior Drupal developers at IO. Cool, cool. Yeah. So my name is Bert. Pleased to meet you, Len. Last year we had a talk as well. So yeah, it's uh, going to be an annual thing, right? <laughs> it's it's going to be an annual thing, yeah. I think, yeah. So last year I really enjoyed our talk. It was uh, spontaneous and I, en uh, I felt your energy, which was great. Yeah. So um, you said, I don't want to talk about uh, ICT and law, the <laughs> keynote before, <laughs> because you don't know anything about it and you find it very interesting, correct? I do. I, do. I, I, I find it interesting. Yeah, I think that's one of the big developments coming up what, that we're going to have to deal with. And I like the way that you talked about that o open source is going to be impacted by it which I yeah. think is, is terrifying, because as open source community, we're usually not that focused on what we need to do. So yeah. trying to get that focused and getting over those humps, I think might be a bit of a challenge coming up. Yeah. So I think that it's well spotted and uh, something you know we need to be aware of. Excellent, yeah. So um, I work for a company that makes software, uh, not in a Drupal ecosphere, but generic Linux distributions and, and, and Kubernetes management. Um, and we have a policy in our company that we, our developers are not allowed to use AI tools. Not even if, if the, the it's, in, it's in your, sorry, uh, AI tools, not even if it's in, in your IDE. So what, do you th what are your thoughts about programming and AI bots? I haven't actually used any of them because I'm not tempted by it. But I know people are using them and they've been very, very enthusiastic about it because it, it, it helps with writing mostly the, the cruft of what you need to do, you know, all the, all the scaffolding that you need to write, it does that great. But then you still need to come in and, and make the code actually good. So if you're allowed to talk about it, are your coworkers actually using that? Cr within the company? Not that I know. It's mostly okay. freelancers that I know that yeah. tried it out. So does your company, for example, have a policy when it comes to? Not that I know, yeah. but it, it, it's, it, it'll probably be coming around, I think. I, I once played around with ChatGPT, like anyone did, of course, and say, hey, can you make an Hello World Drupal module? And it did. I'm not a coder, but I could read it, so that probably means it can, it's a good uh, Hello World. Yeah. Uh, and that's scaffolding. So, so that's great if you want to set up the stuff that you've been doing a thousand of times anyway. It's not, it's not, I'm not challenged by setting up a module that does Hello World. You know, <laughs> no. you know I'm, I'm happy that if we can just go set that up. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm happy that it does that, and I'm sure it does that particular part well. But where does it end? Because at a certain point, I'm sure it might do a fuse. I have no idea why, where it's going to end. Is but it is, it, is it something you're afraid of? No. As a I'm, I'm at, at the moment, with the state that it's in, I'm not terribly afraid of it. Because yeah. when it gets interesting for me, it's probably where the I, AI help ends because I'm going to have to go into a new problem space and solve a new problem. Yeah. And AI, what, what we just heard, it, it, it's pattern analysis. It, it takes from you know, patterns that it sees. It, if it hasn't seen a solution to a problem, yeah. it's not going to come up with a solution right now. They're not smart enough. It's just, you know, it's an automated spreadsheet. I also read right. somewhere, hey, when I, AI is taking over the world, customers actually have to state what they want. We're exactly. safe. We're, we're safe. We're, we're safe. <laughs> we're safe. Yeah. I, I do a lot of refinement sessions with customers, yeah. just trying to figure out what they want. Because yeah. they always come in with, we, we want this. And then you go into the specific that I'm going to have to code in the end. Yeah. And it takes forever to figure out what they actually want. Yeah. So making an AI do that, you're going to have to come up exactly with specifications. What I did love, though, about the whole discussion, you, you posted one on the, on the water cooler about uh, the session that Dries did with some of the WordPress guys. Yep. And one of the WordPress guys said, so the, all the code that the AI writes is based on open source. So exactly. it's, it, it, it's it, the only thing it writes is open source code, which is fantastic. Well, it's, that's a whole legal hole, wormhole because we don't know what is input for, for a chat TPT or another bot. Well, we, or another. we know it's not proprietary software because it can't get to the source code. Well, maybe it can, actually. We don't, we don't <laughs> May, know. Maybe, but... But it's, it's reading probably from open source software, and hence the GPL is, well, uh, he, he, he hates the term viral, so I'm not going to say it, but recur uh, uh, recursive? No, that's not the... Uh, 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 either way, it's, it connects itself to the code and, and becomes part of it, right? I mean, that's how, uh, how, how GPL works. So, would code generated by a chat TPT also be GPL? 
a Drupal module? <laughs> it is distribution. Uh, yeah, it is, but... Anyway, we, we, we said we're not <laughs> going to talk about law and, <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and IT, so, uh, so that was my first uh, <laughs> minute. <laughs> Tell a bit about Drupal 10. Are you connected? Uh, have you been uh, active in releasing it, or what did you do for releasing I've, it? I've, I've done bug fixing, mostly. Of views? Uh, of mostly views, but I, I tend to put my fingers into different pies as well, so whatever comes along. Uh, so I haven't been actively pushing for Drupal 10, but I've, I've been following along and seeing if it kept moving, so trying to keep it moving. Um, and you work for I.O., and that's why you're here, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what does I.O. gain from having you submit code? Knowledge gaining, obviously. Yeah. Uh, getting you know, the profile, getting it out there, yep. that, that we're active there. Uh, but you learn from, from the events online, uh, so uh, inside the company we did like a porting day for Drupal 10. Ah, cool. So so we d we took a, an entire list from all our projects, well not all of our projects, but you know the, the big projects saw which modules we used over there yep. and which hadn't been. So we made a big, big, big ass spreadsheet with all the modules and the state that they were in and ready for Drupal 10. Yep. And we just went okay, here we go. We t got 30 people together, and we're gonna try and get this ported. You know the, the ones that we use and get them ported to, the, and you gain so much knowledge. And how did it work out? Did you was it was a thirty zero at the end of the day, or we we actually got quite a lot done. Okay. I, I was surprised, but as always with these types of events, half the day is spent setting up people's systems to <laughs> actually yeah, get yeah, it working. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, the same yeah. for any sort of sprint event. If you go to yeah. a Drupal uh, Dev Days or you go to like uh, the, the, the the sprints at the end of DrupalCon. Yeah. The, the first part of the day is spent getting people's systems ready and up yeah. and running to actually yeah. contribute. Yeah. Um, but after that, and some of them already had it set up, the fact that, uh, but you gained so much knowledge and you saw that where people go on, oh, okay, so I need to go ch change this my code and that my code and, and ga gain that knowledge from contributing to the, com to, to the community and then taking that back and, and for your own work. And such a sprint, all the work is being contributed again? Yeah, it, it was all for, for, for contrib modules. And do you do you use the gaming system as it's called the the gamification system of uh, Drupal.org? So are you getting points for that? Y you try to. Yeah, of course, but that's you a good thing to. because yeah. uh, yeah. and, and, and yeah. I O is one of the biggest, and I think in the Netherlands at least, uh, 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 contributors, isn't it? I it, think is. it is. Yeah, yeah abso so abso abso absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and we do make it a sort of an emphasis. You know, make sure that that you have I O set up in your profile on Drupal.org. Exactly. And so, th so that's that's what the day starts with. You know, with a little talk. Going, okay, make sure that's set up, and when you do it, make sure you contribute it because you know, it. You at least you get some sort of measurement for you know the people upstairs yeah, exactly. that, that that would exactly. like to see. You know, yeah. so sort of it's fuse. Your your core. Your maintainer fuse, right? Yeah. Fuse in core. Yeah. So. Are people in your company actually helping you out? No. Are they giving you <laughs> feedback in no, any way? Nobody's insane enough to do that. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Nobody in the world is insane enough to do that's that. A, that's the problem with anything that's correlated, and that's why Drupal is so big, it has many modules, because you don't want to start this, or end up in, <laughs> so I'm afraid, <laughs> with core. You want to start it with a module, right? It's hard to do core. It's r it, it, it is really hard it's to hard do core. core but mm, it's, it's one of the things that I would like to uh, emphasize over the last year or so. So yep. last year we ta also talked about the Bug Smash initiative that I work with. Yep. Um, so that was focused on, you know, getting the number of bugs down. Yep. I just did another uh, run. Yeah, I, I've, I've been taking uh, statistics for that for the last three years, mm -hmm. just to see the trend and see if we're actually having an effect. And we are, we're having a massive effect, so that's great. So three years ago we had about seven and a half thousand uh, bugs in yep. Drupal Core, open bugs in Drupal Core. Uh, last measurement I did yesterday, we have five and a half thousand. Good job. So it went down by about two thousand open yep. issues, where normally if we'd done nothing, we were on a trend, so we had seven and a half thousand year yep. after about ten years. Yep. So it was going up by about seven hundred and fifty each year. Yeah. So had we done nothing, it would be at ten thousand now. True. So that's nice. But one of the main roadblocks in doing core con contributing mm -hmm. has always been reviewing. Yeah, reviewing and triage. Uh, it, yeah, yeah. Tri yeah, well, we did a lot of triage, yeah. and that made bugs disappear or doubles or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But actually getting your code reviewed, so you, you, you supply a patch or a merge request, and yep. getting somebody to look at it who has enough knowledge about what they're looking at and giving you good feedback, that was always really difficult. 
And I was looking at the statistics and we were always at about 1,700 or 1,600 bugs that needed review. So they had a patch and somebody said, okay, this is good enough, I think, for somebody to take another look at. So 1,600, that's massive. So I checked yesterday and there's 26. Hmm. So in about a year's time, it went down from 1,600 to 26. Oh, that's, that's core, Stuff right? That's, that's core. Not fused? That's core. That's the whole of core hmm. of things that need review. Cool. Which is a massive achievement, and that's a sort of a spin-off initiative of the needs review initiative. That sort of spun off from the bug smash initiative, because it was a right that that's the biggest bottleneck in core contributing. You know, you, you put something up and then you have to wait for six months before somebody else looks at it. I know that OS X is, uh, did have one release where they didn't add any new features. They yeah, just I love that one. Snow Leopard, I think it was. No, it was after that. One of the mountains, I think. Oh, really? Um, or the islands or whatever. Yeah, but they had this great thing, zero new features. Zero new features. Fantastic. I love that. Yeah. So would that work out for Drupal? I think it, it's, it's actually what Drupal already does. It is in a way, true. But not for major releases, right? Actually, for major releases. M m most major releases, you know, every, every feature should be in the previous minor release before it's... Drupal 10 is Drupal 9.5 without all the deprecated code. Yeah. It's just the deprecated code that got taken out. Although I think a big step forward for Drupal 10 was that it didn't just remove deprecated code, but it also removed deprecated modules. Yeah. So quite a lot of modules got removed from core. Yeah. That which is book, yeah. for example, or uh, and book is still book. in there actually. Yeah. There's there's a movement to get <laughs> get rid of it, but okay. it's it's not gone yet. But little stuff like the color module uh, yeah, exactly, and yeah. uh, the quick edit got removed. Um, yeah, the the biggest thing in eight it was introduced or seven or something I think seven in yeah? seven yeah. yeah yeah and yeah and yeah. it didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. Th well, it did work, but it just did to get didn't into deliver core. on the promise. Yeah, that but that also core has to. I want to hear your thoughts about it, but should core be minimal or should core, core be usable? And what minimal is for the developer, usable is for me. Um, it should be fairly minimal because I, I don't think it's realistic to say uh, you can build an entire website with just core. So Fuse should still be in core, you think? It's debatable. I, I asked you last year, I, you said yes. Yeah, <laughs> but, but it is debatable. I, I think it's good because it forces other things to, to make sure it, they're compatible with Views, mm -hmm. where usually that, that when True Views that. was still in Contrib, it was up to Views to be compatible with other modules. True that. So, so that was good. Um, but, you know, it's still a component, but it's a large, it, it's a well-used component. But in, in a sense, it's... If you would try to get views into core now, you would fail. Because there's too many outstanding bugs in it, it has too many features, it's way too broad. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's nice that it worked before Drupal 7, uh, 8 got released, yeah. but if you try that same thing now, it would never ever happen. So I also asked you last year, what is your big vision for the future? And you said, I don't have one, right? <laughs> yeah. That changed, of course. Of course not. <laughs> 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 so you still don't have a bigger vision where, <laughs> where stuff should be going? The, the, the big picture, yeah, well, well th there probably is. And I think that we, we talked about it last year, I think that uh, the Dries was shifting sort of from the, 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 the digital experience uh, spiel yeah. to, to more like um, uh, side building, going back to yeah. side building, which yeah, basically would, yeah, yeah to, towards you, yeah. which I think is a fantastic move because I think that was one of the great things about Drupal 7, what Drupal 7 really got right. Uh, is that the whole site building experience worked and we've sort of moved more towards, towards more uh, the developer experience being right. Yeah. But that just the, f the, the foundation that you have to build on. So we now we have the foundation good enough, hopefully, that we can start focusing on that site building experience again because it has been lacking a bit. It has been lacking and that's why I think WordPress is gaining and Drupal is losing some ground or at least number of installs. I don't know if that's an important. I'm not sure if it's losing, but it, 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 it's, it's staying pat. It's not growing. Uh, so, so in a sense, I think half the websites still use seven and maybe eight. So I think we're losing here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. But no bigger plans for 11? I think for, from a developer standpoint, I think the biggest thing for 11 is that we're going to switch to a main branch, which is very nerdy but very nice. So from just one road. 
right now, if you're talking about Drupal, so, so wi on which version of Drupal are you? You're on seven or you're on uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the thing that came after eight-ish something? Mm -hmm. You don't have a, something that you can say, I'm on Drupal. Mm -hmm. And if that's 10 or 11, who, mm -hmm. who cares what the actual number is? Yeah. So people are still saying, I'm on nine. Oh, th how does this work in 10? Yeah, 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 yeah. It just needs to be Drupal head main. Actually, yeah. And, and Drupal 7, there was talk about switching the Drupal 7 name over to something like Drupal Legacy. <laughs> so yeah, so get rid of the numbers because it's yeah. confusing. But and especially when you're doing core development. So if a new branch opened, you would actively have to roll patches for three different versions. True. And then somebody would want to backport that to Drupal 7. And that's it completely, and, and it still all had to be inside the same issue. It was a mess, and you had people asking questions. So this is a feature, okay. So the feature goes into Drupal 10.1, and then we open Drupal 11, so it needs to go into 11 or something, and then a bug needs to go in 9.5, and then a non-invasive feature can go in 10.0. What browser are you using? Usually Chrome. And what version? I have no idea. Exactly, my whole point. I mean, I'm it's probably wanted something. I, 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 I'm, I sometimes know which version I'm on because I have to do Chrome Driver to run my automated tests, ah, and okay. that's fixed to a specific version, and then I have to update Chrome Driver to the correct version. There so you have the problem of evergreens, of course. It would be great if Drupal had was the way ahead and that everything would run ahead, but yeah. there's the difference. Yeah. There's the problem. There's the problem. Yeah. yeah. So, but, but for me, for 11, it's it's keeping. Uh, the momentum going for for uh, you know the, the site builders, which would be great. Um, getting rid of more things that we don't need to maintain in core because core maintenance is hard, and so we need to make it easier for 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 core to be maintained. Do a lot of people come here to you and say, "Hey, thank you for your work"? No. Do a lot of people come here and say, "Thank you for your work"? <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> no, no, and thank you for your work, by <laughs> yeah. the way, because that's also very important, so don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it's okay to come up to a developer, especially core developers, and say, hey, thank you. Yeah, but it, it's, but it doesn't matter. It's not why I do it. Why do you do it? I started it because I wanted to learn new things. It's and scratching your own itch, probably. A bit. Yeah. yeah. And that was, a, that was a big problem space, right? All the difficult problems are in core. <laughs> so if you want to work on something challenging, I you think know. I can read you a bit more like, you're, you're intrigued by that, what you don't understand. Is that correct? Yeah, but I do ha need to have an attachment to it. I need to be able to think that I might understand it at some point. So no rocket science. No rocket science, <laughs> no, okay. no, no. I used to have a girlfriend that was into uh, physics, yeah. you know, particle physics. Okay. I, yep. I, I didn't no. <laughs> <laughs> and you say used to girlfriend, so. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Um, cool. So what else do you want to, do you want, what, what, is, what, is, what is what you want to bring to the audience for, for, hey, watch out because this is going to get into Drupal uh, Fuse. Uh, anything you can help the audience with? Fuse is Fuse, and it's, it's, it's a static beast. It's <laughs> a static beast. Yeah, because it, it's hard to change Fuse, because uh, every checkbox apparently is used by somebody. <laughs> no matter how obscure and how, no matter how hard to find. And every time I think, we're going to strip that out. And oh then no. we strip it out. And then five minutes later, you broke my entire website. And I use that all the time. And I, go, oh, I hear you. But we just ha have to have one single checkbox. Hey, disable other checkboxes. We're done. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. we're going to solve this one. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we're not. Because th th I think one of the strengths of Drupal and Views, it, it is so versatile. You have so many things that you can use. And... I love that about Drupal, but it's also one of the main drawbacks about drew, doing core development. I can understand. You, you can't understand how people are using that all over the world. You know, when, you do, when you're working on a project, you're basically writing code for one website. And if you have a multi-site install, it might be five. And some really big ones that people might have might have 50. Yeah. But if you're working on Drupal core, you're, you're looking at 300,000 websites. It's incomprehensible. And so you can't oversee what the impact of your change is going to be. And you can, th you can think, for, you know, I've been working with Drupal for 15 years, and that particular checkbox I've never, ever used, and I can't imagine a way that so somebody would use it. Okay. So if today someone will write a patch to disable all the checkboxes, <laughs> right? Send it towards him, it will be fine. <laughs> Any questions from the audience? One last question about Drupal core fuse? Or just Drupal core. Or Drupal core in general? 
No questions? No one? Then I would like to thank you so much, Len, for, yeah. for having a great talk. Thanks for having me. Man. Next up is a featured speaker. Oh, no, he's not here up no, yet. Still me. Um, <laughs> okay, so we'll be changing in five minutes. You have, to, uh, have time to change rooms, to go to another room, or stay here, because that will be very interesting as well. So thank you so much. Cheers.